Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are ready to enter the uh, Devil's Peak Station. Understood. I'll keep my head down. I realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. We you can't ever get to me. Don't leave already. Here they come! Ah, I was hoping there would be a vendor here, and indeed. Sell. You Jump. Our inventory is now on a more manageable. Uh, an environmental controls keypad and uh, memorandum environmental controls installation and keycard barb the new environmental controls terminal is now installed and running upstairs congratulations you message corporate about it you get to manage it consider this your official notice to hide its access keycard deep in the bottom of a drawer somewhere preferably within the archives or in one of the station's other popular sections because I sure as hell will not allow our station's efficiency scores to plummet due to a pointless safety feature. Don't even think about testing the system out. The emergency sirens will make your ears bleed, and if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it can suck the air from the room faster than the station's last performance review. Bow. I guess that's one way of having a fire suppression system. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? I'm looking for an information broker. Nice and coherent. Good. Take it you're not with the Marauders, then. By the hand of fate and my own cunning skill, I run this station. The Marauders may have other plans. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I have need of you. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Okay, Broker. Excellent. I have a good feeling about our business relationship. 
I'm sure it will go much more smoothly than with those unscrupulous mercenaries I hired. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. How many marauders broke into the station? Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently. Then it for me. Aside from the bits I'll be paying you? I trade in secrets, valuable ones for my vocation. I'm sure you can come up with something you might like to ask me about in person once I'm safe. Good point. I will see what I can do. You're an artist, Captain. Yes. Okay, so that's it for this room. Where is this elevator you're talking? Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. Ah, right. Marauders still don't pose much of a challenge anymore. Which I'm actually quite happy about, as mentioned earlier. this level before we go further upstairs. Why are people, people, people keeping weapon parts and ammunition in their kitchen drawers? Okay, so there's a terminal. Atmospheric controls. Boy, fire suppression systems in main hall. Let me just save before I do anything. Yes. So mechanical controls. Here we go. Okay, so that's leaving the state. The premises. Let's head up up those stairway, the staircase, and uh, have a look if there is anything interesting upstairs. Ah, Marauder free at last. 
Hiram Blipe. This is stealing, I take it? No. And we'll uh, have our uh, happy little looting spree before we talk to him. Terminal. Nicely done. Okay, so terminal. For us, priority transmission log. Accessing. Status: The station's primary off-band is presently oversaturated with continual transmissions from sister settlements. Off-world signals are unable to be isolated for recording. Turn to root. Begin broadcasting. Authorized broadcaster, don't even try to pretend you're unaware that all broadcasting is currently locked down. Please return to milling about the break room and lamenting that internship in corporate arbitration you never finished. Or to override the lock on recording, simply en enter your admin pa username and password in the command line. Oh, you can't. Maybe you should have been nicer to Val. Personal files, accessing... Memorandum titled, Clear Blue Skies, Mood Optimistic. Dare I say, the future is looking bright. Indeed, I can run a full gamut, gamut of operations without ever leaving the sanctuary of the broadcast room. Sanjar and Graham are living up to their promises and have not interfered with initial broadcasts. The deal is holding, and I... I believe I can make a life here. H. Memorandum titled, Sneaky Sneaky. Had an air miss the other day. Nearly ended up with a board on my trail. We will mark that trial firmly in the failure category. One must experiment, however, to ascertain the best methods. I have found thus far that the most reliable method for evading detection within the limited frequency of Monarch's off-world transmissions involves duplicating regular news broadcasts on several unused frequencies. My information gathering associates now know to filter out the sounds in the vocal range, in turn isolating the embedded data. And the board's authorities are none the wiser. Playing Hazard has never been so thrilling, nor higher stakes. Memorandum titled, Should Have Known. Pox it all. Those imbecilic children, in their hatred of each other, Sanjar and Graham have oversaturated my key bands. They'll take down each other all right, and me right alongside them. I should never have invited them to play, but what to do about it now? What to do indeed? So he's in kind of a tight spot. Okay, Hiram, what have you got to say? Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. My compliments on your improvised utilization of the fire suppressant system. I do admire a man of ingenuity. Think nothing of it. Oh no, my business is in trade. Not owing others the burden of a favor. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why you ventured here at all. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why? In the nebula, are you here? Um, you know why I'm here. Can we continue our conversation from the intercom now? Uh, if you insist. As I was telling you before, I am the premier broker for all of Monarch. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look. I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Are you fibbing? Be honest. You said that in a way that was almost believable. I take offense to that. <clears throat> Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Why is that? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Luckily, however, the Iconoclasts have now gone silent. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I would. Then you've my impressed gratitude. 
Still, we need to get MSI off the airwaves. I will leave the means to that particular end under your discretion. So we kick them off. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Can't we cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Sanjar and MSI to stop transmitting on their end. I'll talk some sense into them. You do that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. I need to head out. Sure. You know where to find me if you need me. Where are we going to end up now? Oh. Sorry about that. Just another little tiny sneeze. Okay, so I think we've finished most of the quests out here. Might be another one. There is one down at the Borst factory and there probably will be more there. But for now, let's head back to uh, Amber Heights, I think. Yes, let's head back to Amber Heights. Looks Price. like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? I'm Captain Caladorn. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Tucker, you're Agnes' little boy from Stellar Bay? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger, asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. Yep. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Let's do the persuade one. Running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her that you've grown up. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? You've survived outside of Stellar Bay for weeks. Show her the skills you've learned. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. 
No one can. That's a mission successfully done. Oh no, we have to talk to her again. Hopefully she won't be screeching as much this time. Welcome back. You find anything out there? Found a box of data cartridges. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain, he gave them the gate codes. Caused the attack. Yeah. He did. He really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Interesting. Go take a walk, Captain. I'll find you once my head's on. I'm drinking here. Move yourself on. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. I found Lamont's body. You know, a tiny part, a damn stupid part of me, hoped he was still out there. What happened? They bought themselves a ticket off world, but they were attacked while waiting for them. Damn. Well, you find our box of memories? Yeah, thing is, I found a list of agents in that outpost. You aren't on it. <laughs> well, ain't you clever. Fine. I was supposed to pick him up that night. Thing is, another offer came along. Bit more lucrative. Abandoned them? They died out there. And their payment almost died with them. Thanks to you, I can afford another round. Cheers, hero. Look, I like your gumption. I was gonna share the bits, but here's a couple extra. Now go on. Leave an old man to his past. Ugh, I should have kept those bits. Okay, now we can go back to uh, Stellar Bay. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound! Tell the captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? Your son is a grown man. It's time you started treating him like one. What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuck Tuck home safe again. Good luck to you both. Um. So we have that for Sun John. So then we need to talk to. Velma. A 
I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Yep. Got some bad news about Braxton. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? He was killed by cannibals out in the ruins. That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. It's a rotten way to go. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? Nope. Uh, we are going to put that into lockpicking. Perks. A. Okay. That's useful. That's also useful. All of these are useful. Let's take the carrying capacity for now. And then we run over to speak to Sun John. Poor Braxton. I don't... And you should know you're getting excellent reviews from across the company. Of course. What can I do for you? I need MSI to stop broadcasting. You're jamming Devil's Peak Station. You're just as rigid as the old executive committee. Why, we've hardly been able to get a clear message out until recently. When Graham finally shut up. Praise the architect for that. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. There must be another way for you to do business. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. If we can find proof that one of the companies on the board is also active on Monarch, that'll give me all the leverage I need. Fine, but then you're stopping those broadcasts. You have my word. Good. I found a data cartridge with details of UDL secret experiments. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I've finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. Mm -hmm. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Not so fast. What are these reformations you're talking about? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. What's going to happen to the people here when the board figures out what you're doing? Well, by that point, my hope is that we'll be on the board once more. I'm just... Maybe I'm worrying too much, but it seems the folks here get plans made for them an awful lot. When do they get to start making plans for themselves? Once MSI is restored, the people of Monarch will be able to make more choices. We'll have all the brands and resources of the board here. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Vault 52. With that data you're holding, of course. <laughs> Did I say I had a data cartridge? That's just what I call my left nut. <laughs> okay, give them the data. Here you go. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Thank you. I've got to go. Um, now revering. Could be rather well off with both the iconoclasts. 100%. Almost 100% with the MSI. 
Sublight salvage and shipping is positive. The board, well. Need to talk to Zeng. First of all, let's have a little look at the uh, modifications we have. Yeah, I was hoping we'd get one of those. Let's install that. Then... This one. Let's give it more crit. I'll change it to shock. Yeah, let's tinker a tiny little bit. That's expensive. we go and repair all equipped and break down a few of these things part to support the local what can if you Trade don't see it i don't got it the heavy ammo as per usual 62 percent discount that's nice sell these two you can also sell that one and that one now here the really need that perk that reduces the uh, weight of these things because uh, only the Adrenos alone is 21.5 uh, weight. Let's sell the base health stuff. Sell that. go and we can sell two of those three of those one of these three of those sell all that and that leaves us at 108 out of 350 which is good now we only have that lab left and we have to go to Scylla and also we have the slaughterhouse so let's head on down to um, 
can go to him, but let's go to Fallbrook first. Someone we should talk to to get that uh, identity, but I do not remember who. By the not, not. regular. I test every product myself. No. Catherine said you can give me an ID cartridge for the CNP factory. Not so fast. Persuade. I think the fact that Catherine Mal Ma Malin sent me for it makes me special enough. She needs it for a job. Well, why didn't you say so? Reckoned you asked her where to best procure one, and she obligingly pointed you my way. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require something to say, scratch your itch? <clears throat> Trade with him. Grab the ammo. Still a lot of stuff we can't access. And on that note, I think that we are at a good spot to end the episode. So... Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time.